The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. This will be fielded inside the five. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. But one thing I know for sure, the standard speech is to treat the game like it's tied. But when you have an advantage, they also tell you, make sure you don't get your foot off the gas. Message received. The Bengals drive about to get going. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now, and that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now, we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? Where everything is working for them, every move they make works, it clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Dave's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now Burrow to throw on second down. This is caught. It's Boyd. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's a good chunk of yardage that's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. Stops shy of the 45 despite some powerful running. Now after that last play, there's a bangle down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Burrow looking to pass. A short throw caught by Andrews. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. Here's Ty Long now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. And Charles, they trail by three scores. Look, they're not completely out of this, but it's sort of go time right now. Yeah, and they knew that coming out after halftime, it was going to take a collective effort to get back into this ball game. The defense got the stop for them, so maybe that can get things started. Now the offense has to pick their game up as well, and if they can put a score on the board, Hey, they could get back in it and hurry. From the 22, here's second and eight. At the 22-yard line. Now Mayfield. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Mayfield finding Beckham. And they're going to have this way down in Cincinnati territory. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game.
from the gun. It's a gift to Chubb. And yeah, the Browns are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. And yeah, the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Throwing Mayfield. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Odell Beckham. His second touchdown on the season. And the Browns get a score closer. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Takes it at the 7. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Bengals drive about to get going. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Brings up second and a yard at the 42-yard line. Now it's Burrow. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. Boyd's the target, and he has it over the middle. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Third quarter action. Appreciate you joining us from Cleveland, Ohio. Second and 10. To the air again, Burrow. Take it in by the tight end, Doyle. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. fullback try and push the pile and he is going to have a Bengals first down as that'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive there's a first and ten at the 14 yard line They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Miles Garrett in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. Eluding the pressure right. That's going to be caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A good pick up there of 20 yards. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. They go play action here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Jesus. 
Here's a run with Mixon. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And to the 12, that's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. Time long set.